How's it going, boys? Today we are playing standard smiley face, winky face, smile when you need to look fine, but secretly you're not. But at least this is, you know, technically an Ugin deck and Genesis Ultimatum deck. It's standard. What are you exactly supposed to do? A uh, Genesis Ultimatum deck with Ugin is pretty much the same thing as a Yorion, the other three color deck with Ugin, only worse. So. That's that, essentially. Just, just, just for information. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of a fun deck because it has stuff in it. We have a decent amount of ramp. We have Wolven Haven, Cultivator, Landlord Visionaries, and well, that's pretty much it. Then we have a little bit of interaction because if you remember previously, we did this deck and people were yelling at me and commenting. <laughs> Yeah, those people, obviously. Which is pretty much almost all of you. I could not be more proud, boys. But this time we have interaction. Brazen Border, Bony Boy, Storm's Rat, Battle, Battle of Frost and Fire, please, J.R. Martin, Sue Wizards. Kiora Battles the Sea God. I don't doubt that this actually counts as interaction considering it costs 7 mana, but there you have it. Genesis Ultimatums and Ugins and stuff. Oh yes, we have control, we have ramp, and we have annoying things like Brazen Borrower, which is on a whole nother level of its own. And then we have lands, four world trees, 24 lands to be specific, three of these, three of these, four of these. Yes, that's the perfect mana base as they say. So, without any further ado, the deck is pretty simple. You ramp in, play an Ugin, your opponent concedes. If they don't concede, well, then you have to rethink life. Oh, but usually they can see. So without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? But before that, remember, you can support the channel by liking and subscribing. There's also a Patreon down in the description, but liking and subscribing comes first, boys. Remember, it doesn't matter if you haven't watched the video. It doesn't even matter that you dislike the video. It doesn't matter that you hate me with a passion. What matters is that you leave that like at the start of the video, not at the end, the start is the best time. Okay? Okay, so let's just get a cracking. Okay, so hilarious story about this deck. I wanted to do this deck like two two weeks ago or something, but this happened. So, as, as some of you, my longer viewers, may know, I am someone who does not watch any other magic videos because I just want to do my own thing. I don't want to worry about the fact that someone has made that deck and it's cool and, you know, stuff like that. So essentially, there are there are time to time situations where I completely obliviously just, you know, make a deck that's really similar to something else. And this time almost happened with this deck. At least I'm assuming that would have happened. So. Considering I, I press, uh, you know, that I don't want these vi videos recommended on YouTube, YouTube doesn't show me Magic the Gathering videos. But obviously, you know, a month or two pass, and they slowly creep back in. And you know what happened? You know what happened? I'm, I'm, check I'm checking the recommend page on YouTube, and it's recommending CGB. And it's an Ugin that can standard and you can... I don't, I don't remember how... Uh, what was it? The thumbnail was an Ugin plus a Genesis Ultimatum? Or what the, the, was the name Genesis Ultimatum and Ugin? Something like that, essentially. Oh, boys. Man. Exactly when I wanted to make my own video. And it was... That video was new. It's like, it wasn't even 24 uh, hours posted ago. And I'm like, man! That was exactly the video I wanted to do yesterday to for tomorrow. God, man. Ah, oh, life is life. So now that two uh, two weeks have essentially passed, no one's gonna remember about it, and it's gonna be fabulous. Also, what the hell am I supposed to do? Probably frost fire. Okay. So this looks like an easy even considering our opponent is woefully slow, which gives us a woefully great chances of doing woefully woeful things. So that's kind of good. We have a world tree, we have everything. Honestly, this looks like a vintage spinach situation, especially with this scry tree part. Very importante. Admittedly, the bad part is there is a chance that I can't cultivate because of it, but, you know, Sometimes, sacrifices must be made. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I can actually do it like this, right? Yeah, I can just do it like this, and it's gonna be as fun. <gasps> okay, that was not the, what, what I anticipated. Actually, nothing of this is how I wanted it to happen. Okay, minor mistakes, but honestly, who cares? His next play is a Lotus. I just do the fiery swoosh at him, and then I play a Land of Old Elf, and essentially, it's all fine. Oh, boys. Actually, you know what? That's quite the annoying thing, I'm a boop. No, seriously, that's like literally very annoying. Um, that's a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, so how do I do this? Do I play the Land of Old Elf or do I just... Oh, okay, I actually need to play the Land of Old Elf first, it seems like. Okay, mistakes were definitely minorly made here, but I will take absolutely no responsibility about my actions. That's pretty much a staple nowadays. Nothing to say about that, honestly. Oh, but there's a Genesis Ultimatum. Zero organs have been found, and this demon boy looks extremely uh, killable. I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, I'm gonna. Quasar! <coughs> <coughs> ah! I'm trying to learn to say my name while sneezing to be extra manly, by the way. I think it's going pretty well. Totally did not rip off that from fucking One Piece, by the way. No. <laughs> Great. Okay, this is the win. Yeah, this is the win. Oh, yeah. Look at this. The guy has stuff. Oh, God. I need... To... Dude. Man. Can I... Can a, can a brother catch a break? It's like... Then that doesn't work because I played it wrongly. Then that doesn't do stuff. Then this, then that. Like, Jesus Christ, seriously, game. Like, cut, cut me some slack. I'm a complete moron at the end of the day. Like, I deserve to be treated specially. My RNG should be better than the average person's because life is a struggle. And not the good kind of struggle, snuggle, struggle. It's just a goddamn struggle. Admittedly, now everything is, uh, tapped, which is great. So let me think. I'm just gonna hit the face. Why not, honestly, right? Uh, what can I do with another Genesis Ultimatum? I can just cast it and see what happens. Yeah, that's a plan. There's a bunch of things like, oh, he just surrenders. Well, honestly, again, kind of the point of the deck. The win condition with the deck by default is, kind of, well, like, really annoying, so this is the best outcome. You know what's my favorite hobby, by the way? It's sending children to the Shadow Realm. Oh yeah, that that's a great hobby in my own opinion. And I think my own opinion is extremely valid and uh, on point here. Wolven Haven, that's actually good. If I get a second... Oh, opponent goes first. Eh, don't like that. That always sounds cheeky. So, Wolvenhaven is a little bit of a dodgy card here, because technically, what's the point of Wolvenhaven, if you know what I mean, in this deck? But, on the other hand, what are you gonna do? Uh, uh, what, what, what else are you gonna add as a 2-drop? Let's be real here. It's Wolvenhaven or bust at this point. So, on this deck, I'm gonna put it on, um, let's see, probably green. Yeah, probably green. Yes! We are completely just pre wait a minute. No, there's no way you're just a snow deck. Actually, what are you? A s what, what kind of snow deck are you? Man, it's been a while since I have seen snow decks, but the- Okay, that's not exactly very snowy of you. Um, cools, I guess. <clears throat> well, I am ramping a lot, so bonus points. I can drop a land of war, boy. Technically, we're currently having a decent-ish time. If only we didn't have a way more green than we should, but, you know, it's it's not that bad. It's definitely not that bad. Okay, now we're gonna have some other, uh, other possibilities here. Let's see, what are we gonna go for? Double blue or double red? Well, we need one of each at the bare minimum, right? Okay, so do it like this, and now I'm gonna just hit his face, because that's where it hurts. Okay, I have a feeling that he has counter spells. Wait a minute, did that just tap my land of all elf? What a great whoa! Thank you, wizards. Just just like two, three moments ago, I said that I need special attendance because reasons, 
And now you're completely ruining everything. The, something even that I usually don't ruin, you, you, you now ruined it. How hard it is to actually call Wolven Haven and, and Gift of Paradisio to be, you know, not a detriment to your deck when out on the field. How about that? Ashiok? That's pretty lame -o. Okay, how much? Um, let's see. So, uh, I need some very specific things, and those specific things are mostly gonna be called... Eh, not exactly that. Okay, how do I actually do this? Do I just do this and then go for the double trouble? Or, yeah, well, there's nothing else I can do here, so there, there, there we go, Ashiok. You, you can just, you know, sk skitter or slither away or whatever you want to do, do, dude. Okay, yeah, that, that was pretty good. That, that was peachy. That was squeaky. So, now I can double giant kill him, which is gonna be not the play of the century, but if I top deck, uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called here? I need, I need to think. That's not my strong suit. I need to top deck, uh, world tree. Then we can actually do something. Hello there. Man, you're an annoying deck, aren't you? Ah. Okay, we actually did it. Win! Skill! Overflowing? What you gonna do? That's one monarch, you can't do anything. What? Did you think that's a winning clue? No, you always leave the counter spell open. What kind of noob lord are you at the end of the day? Anyway. Oh, look at that. Another Genesis ultimatum. A very ultimatum y. Uh. Huh. Honestly, if I think about it now. It does seem like a tad of a mistake to use Battle of Thrust and Fire because it hits Planeswalkers. Oh, but then again, Never Punished is the name, and Magic's the game. No, seriously, if this skill, if this game was even remotely skill-based, I would never win a game playing like this, considering I am barely putting effort in it. I'm just going through the motions most of the time, boys. Oh no, you killed my blood chief's thirst. That's horrible. You know what else is horrible? The fact that I'm gonna obliterate you yet again, my dude. No, no, no. That's actually, by the way, pretty good in these decks. The fact that you can Genesis ultimate them, scry, and then you can do some stuff. Yeah, that is pretty good. Okay, let's see. Ah, yes, exactly everything I wanted in life. Except it's not. But, you know, you, you can't exactly complain about this. This is pretty decent because it's a Kraken. I can steal his things. I can steal his clock, by the way, which is kind of funny. And I can do this. Ta-da! <clears throat> I wonder if he's gonna do anything next turn. Well, okay. We still have Giants, we have Storm's Red, we have a Brazen Border, we have a lot of damage on the field. This has Hexproof. Admittedly, it shouldn't be p protected against anything because it's pretty ugly. But that's just my opinion. And, okay, I kind of give up. Like, what is this guy honestly gonna do? do? Do you think this guy even has anything to do at this point? I kind of don't think so. Tap all non land permanents. That includes the Midnight Tauber. If he doesn't do the Tauberi Schmauberi things now, it's gonna be too late. And honestly, if I do the math now, it seems like I have lethal on board for some reason. Which is quite cute. And, uh... Cute. But I am a Golden God Gamer. So there you have it. A GG! Bony boys, destroying dreams since their inception, essentially. Great stuff, great stuff. Spank emote. He knows what's up. Anyway, that was pretty good, honestly. Okay, let's see if we can win even more games. Do we get a third consecutive win? Would be pretty good. Go first, Storm's Rat, castable, and nothing else. And the guy is using a almost no one cares. I'm gonna keep this. Okay, what could possibly go wrong? They said. Well, I, I go first. Storms that technically nothing can go wrong. Technically, he said. So drop this. 
Man, I, I just struggle to drop a land. That's like next level, definitely. Fable Passage, he pops it instantaneously. If only not for these sleeves, I would say we're up against an actual person. Oh, interesting. So what is he gonna do with this? I never understood uh, the companion part of this. Like, what what is he supposed to do? What is that supposed to do? Is there a point in that? I don't know. Anyway, drop the land of water elf. Draw a brawl tree. Eh, yeah, close. Also, Ugin MTXs. Look at this card. It's chromey, it's goldy, it's... Oh, he can just attack. Um, okay. Cool. Not really, but it's fine. Okay, do this. Uh, now... <laughs> now what? I attack again? Uh, against him? Okay, that's that, that seems cool. Uh, so, 5 mana, no way to cast anything even remotely close to blue. No idea why would you have that in your deck. Nothing you can mutate even remotely comes close to useful with the mysterious egg. And now that just gives me the need, the want, the necessity of showing you what's up. That's what's up. Also, we have 3 Ugins. And 11 draws. Pretty good, not gonna lie. Also, this guy has a specific choice of lands. Look at this. Planes. Or well, maybe it's not. Who knows. Ah, a Chupamacabre. Very nice. Okay, finally we got some blue action. We got five lands. Um... I need to wait. Because I can't do anything currently. Five, six, six doesn't allow me to cast anything. This is not great. Yeah, this is... Wait, does this return? Did this return? I don't know. Yes, it did. I'm, I'm not used to the non-other uh, looking card, so this is quite hard for me, boys. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. How much does he have here? An egg. Nah, if he plays that, it's different. And now he can play that and it's gonna be annoying, so I'm gonna do it like that. First time I ever see someone use Mysterious Egg, even though technically it's not bad, whenever this cute creature mutates, put a 1-1 counter on it. It's a 1 cause, dude. Uh, that's pretty decent. Okay, dropping this instantaneously because we need to find those lands and we need to find those lands fast. If I find a single land, I can uh, I can play a Krakeny Boyo. Okay, this guy is playing a strange resurrection deck. So what is he gonna get? I'm assuming uh, the Hemophage. But I haven't seen. It's been a while since I have seen a white black uh, uh, mutate deck, especially with this. But the but because it has Life Link and Menace and it costs two. And it has that uh, spe uh, spells you cast the target the creature costs two less to cast. Hmm. Wait. Spells the target the creature. That's a creature. Oh, big plays. Yes, definitely big plays. Okay, am I dead next turn? Probably not. Close yet no cigar. Okay, with this I can actually do some stuff. With this, I have all the MacGuffins in my power. Okay, this is perfection. Again, this is why we use that card, because it's just useful. And then we're just gonna be able to play a Nugget. And hopefully he concedes. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be happy about my life choices. Okay, yeah, that's completely fine. No one cares. The card... Uh, that is not fine! That is exactly the opposite of... Wait a minute. This can target face, can't it? It deals 4 damage to target creature or planes. Oh no, it's only planeswalker. Man, who would have thought? Man, wait a minute. Does this? I don't see the. I don't see the stresses. Oh no, it can attack, can't it? Oh no, don't tell me it's true. Oh yeah, it can attack. Okay, he kind of killed me. Complete luck, by the way. So we can't win three games in a row. Ain't that absolutely sad? So, mandatory reminder, I just lost four games in a row. Thank god I can edit that out. And all of those games looked almost like this. Oh, good eight, the fifth loss in a row. Uh, they, they all looked pretty much similar to this. 
we had two lands starting hand, and the rest of our hand was the most expensive things in our deck, and we never got ramp, and we never got even past the lands. At least we go first, so maybe. Considering we found the uh, found a match in like one second, there is a chance. There is a small chance, I would say, that we found the game in one second. So there you have it. Maybe we're gonna win this. Maybe this is our free win because, you know, you can't lose four games in a row and, you know, then have a g good game. So maybe Wizards is gonna help uh, help us out here. Gonna just drop the Bony Boy like that. Chances are he d drops something that has more than 2 HP. And mostly the two uh, the deal 2 damage part here is kind of uh, the whole premises of hitting creatures, not face. But we're, we're just gonna have to see how it goes, you know? Uh, currently, at least we have something you almost useful. Nothing's playable, keep in mind, but hey, at least it looks feasible to a degree. Oh, wow. Someone's mowing the lawn with a passion. Oh! I wonder, can you hear that? I'm assuming you can just a little bit. Okay, this is not bad because this actually deals with it. So yeah, is this my free win? Because currently, while my hand is not exactly Sugoi, uh, everything I do kind of counteracts him and he's not doing exactly impressive stuff. So, my question is, is this my free win because reasons? <laughs> I think this could be our free win because reasons. Okay, let's see it. Let's put it like that because there is a point in that madness. Okay. Uh, obvious things are obvious, I guess. Do do it. And let's see. Next turn we still can Genesis ultimate him, but we will be able to crack it up. I think he could go for an extra turn. This this does look like an extra turn deck, by the way, with double vision. So yeah, it kind of explains everything. Well, here's the unexpected double vision yet again, boys. Wow. Wait, should have I not gone for a land? I maybe should have gone for a land, but you know, who's actually keeping count? Uh, probably a lot of people, but that's fine. Okay, at least we got a brazen Bodiver down. And with Kyoto beats the Sea God, we can steal his double vision and play into the Genesis Ultimatum. Which is honestly... The complete 100% a best play ever. So, you know, what, what does that do? I don't know. Well, I have a Nugan, so technically nothing you do even matters. Attack. Wait, what does this even do? When Bubble Snare enters the battlefield, it was tapped and... Oh! It's like a really bad and slow tappy thing. Yes. Okay, so here's the deal, my child. I'm gonna steal that double vision. Oh, yes. I am so much stealing that double vision. <laughs> what a play. Okay, so, he either gets rid of the saga. Oh, saw it coming. Double saw it coming. Oh, he like quadrupled... He like quadruple saw me coming. Oof. Wow. Oh yeah, this this looks okay. So this is the play, right? He doesn't deal with the Kyoto beats the Sea God, and I just take away his uh, double vision, and we call it a day, okay? He double visions a cultivate, which is mo mo one of the more pitiful things I have seen today. And I play World of Warcraft, so petty things ahoy. Well, your boy's the one who's committing the petty things usually. If you have, if you are, if you are low on HP, wearing cloth. Out in the wilderness and having a good day. I'm most likely behind you. And I am corpse camping you because that's just the type of... That's just the type of humble creature that I am. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, come on. Dude, I just need one land. Is that too much to ask? Is that too hard to achieve? That's a counter spell. No one cares about the counter spell though. Okay. So, I'm gonna bait the counter spell with Ugin, and then I'm gonna just double Genesis Ultimatum, and we're gonna- Oh my god, that's so Wait a minute, it was castable. No, wait, we still- Okay, 
So considering this is our free win and everyone knows it, again, I lost uh, I, uh, I lost four games before this one. Thankfully, we can edit them out because they were absolute garbage. Okay, okay. So this is the deal, right? He has he has a counter spell. Everyone knows it. Everyone feels it. So we're gonna just oogin him. And if he counter spells, that's cool. If he doesn't. Well, actually, it depends. Now nah, he can still cast the counter spell. Well, I, I can't. Okay, he has four mana left. Okay, so the th thing with double vision is, in literally every effect that doubles up, uh, doubles up the spells you cast, is the simple fact that it it's it's kind of a counter spell free thing. You can counter spell the double vision, but the second double vision is still gonna happen. See, so saw it coming. Everyone knew it. Everyone expected. He didn't pre it because he already showed it. It is side. So Wait a minute, that's illegal. Okay, a little bit of Ill illegalities. That's that's completely fine. That's completely fine. I'm double Genesis ultimating. What are you gonna do about it? Crimea River Spaghettios. Okay, well, he's gonna technically have a handful of stuff and MacGuffins and whatnot. Uh, but then again, does it matter? Because it ain't gonna matter. Oh, he's gonna get a full hand of stuff. Oh, the horror. Oh, no. I'm gonna just use your own double vision to cast my Genesis Ultimatum. Double it up. Probably summon a Kraken or 15. Uh, you know, there's this saga part right here, which actually is a house for some odd reason. I'm gonna literally play everything, okay? Uh, that, that, that's super, that's super peachy. And what the hell? Oh, that's, that's the draw part. Okay, makes sense. And now I'm gonna literally not get anything of value. Impressive. Wow, impressive even for my standards, not gonna lie. Okay, so now, now what are you gonna do, buttercup? Huh? What are you gonna do now? I have a bunch of lands, I have a bunch of stuff, I have a bunch of things, I have done a bunch of stuff, and you know, I'm not stopping. It doesn't seem like... By the way, situations like this is why I was actually contemplating uh, to put the troll saga that destroys a land, because it's honestly pretty good. So yeah, I was kind of contemplating that, but at the same time I was like, nah, nah. Double vision? That's cute. I already stole one. What do you want me to do? Steal a set? Okay, stop. You're, you're literally just being like super annoying to just be super annoying at this point. I see through your tricks. Oh, wow. Wait, now you can't counterspell. Yeah, you can't counterspell now, my dude. That's a good... The question is, was that a good play? Because you can't counterspell. Okay, well, good play or not. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna drop this, this bad boy. Oh, yes. And now I'm gonna drop this. Still can't play it, but that's absolutely fine. And now I'm killing that. Okay, there is a chance we're honestly kind of taking it a little bit too far. And there is a small chance that we may lose. <laughs> Which would be hilarious. But, you know, you, can, you can, if you see a double vision, you just want to say it. That's mine. Also, what happens if you have intercourse with your own clone? Is that masturbation or is, is or is that sex? I don't know. Wait, do we have an organ on field? Yeah, we still have an organ on field. Man, that's a really good use of Storm's Rats there, dude. Okay, that thing draws cards and no one literally cares about it because it's just like meh. Meh, the card. Okay, so, so. Oh god, he pre it. It's it's a counter spell. Everyone knows it's a counter spell. Like, why are you even trying to pretend it's not a counter spell? Anyway, that's my double vision. Thank you very much. Again, this is arguably not exactly the greatest of plays, but this is. I can't. You know, I can't even cast this, which is the worst part. I can't even cast Genesis Ultimatum because I'm gonna deck myself quite literally. Oh, saw it coming. Who, who would have foreseen that, my dude? Okay, so. The Ugin's gonna have to hit the face of the Ugin. I'm not sure if this is gonna work out. But if we lose, we only lose because of one reason. This is rigged. That's why we lose if we lose. 
Okay, that's like the second. The seriously, only second? I thought he already cast the two, and that was the third one. Huh. Anyway, I kind of dislike the fact that he hasn't surrendered. A normal person should surrender after they see the double vision get stolen. It's like seriously, how how low can you? How low do you need to be to just not surrender after all of that? You know, uh, obvious questions are obvious, I guess. Let's see. Can I steal his clock? No, I cannot because all of my uh, Kyoto beats the Sea God have been used. <laughs> yeah, this is getting out of control real, uh, real fast, real bad, it seems like. Well, now, ain't that a joy, as they say. Also, let me think. Well, actually, there's nothing to think about here. It's either we win in four turns or bad stuff happens. We technically st have two more Ugans, right? One, two... Yeah, two more Ugans. Wait, the Genesis Ultimatum? Dude, do you put just random stuff in your deck and call it a day or something? Because it looks like it. Oh, wow, look at that. Rovana. Ooh, she's actually pretty hot, not gonna lie. Okay. Well, you hit my face. Im Im Impressible. Impressible. I'm gonna hit your face. How many boning boys do I still have? Two. No, one. Wait, that deals damn. Okay, did I actually just lose because of my own bravado? There is a chance, but I'm kinda not willing to admit it if that is the case. <laughs> I'm kinda not willing to admit that. Okay, let's see. So, I can Storm's Wrath. He can still reset his deck at least two times, so... He's probably not worried about that. Or at least one more time. Hello there. Okay, you're pretty sweet, you're pretty cool, you're pretty on point. Let's do it. Battle of Frost. Again, this, situations like this is the exact reason why I think that I should have just put in some uh, a little bit of those troll sagas. Good game? What's so good about it, my dude? Like, surrender. S surrender, please. That's my only chance of winning at this point. It's it's him just deciding that surrendering is the right option. <laughs> oh no, he's just gonna double vision things yet again. Man, I want to steal that, but I can't. Man, uh, creative outburst. Wait, am I dead? Creative Outburst deals 5 damage, look at the top 5 cards, put one of them into your hand and the rest the bottom of your library. Okay. Uh, very cute. Are you gonna- are you- are you telling me you actually have something for this? I'm pretty sure you run only 2 Creative Outbursts because that just seems like the logical amount of Outbursts to have in your deck. I could be wrong, but you know, I kinda feel like I'm not. Ooh, a World Tree, that's very useful. Oh, look at that, a bunch of lands. Also very useful. Uh, this, see, situations like this is the exact prime reason why you always want to have ways to reset your deck, have HP gain, and, you know, everything that magic has in, in built in it. You want to have it all. And we do not have a way to reset the deck, which makes us susceptible to our own stupidity. And no one's usually safe from it. People who say they don't make mistakes are lying, except me, because I do not make mistakes. But anyway, I think that was the final nail in the coffin, it looks like. Man, we could have just won also. We could have just won. We, we could have, any at any moment in time, we could have just gotten rid, rid of the midnight clock and called it a day. But we didn't! Anyway, that's pretty great. That's five losses in a row. Completely none of them are all my fault. Okay, this one is my fault, but the last four were just BS and they were not my fault But anyway, I guess that's pretty much it. I think we have an I think we have enough time in this in this bad boy. So yeah uh, Obviously one of those digs that is curated by wizards RNG mechanics in the sense that, you know, if you need to lose, your opening hand is gonna be like two islands, two mountains, two forests, or something like that. I'm not talking about specifically the last game that we just now had, but in average, like, 
they're gonna give you bad bad lands two of them and they're gonna give you all the expensive stuff like all of the key orders all of the genesis ultimatums and so on and so on and so on it is pretty disgusting but anyway so this was quizzer since then thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already check out the channel check out the discord check out the patreon and have a nice day bye bye